Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, it's your boy, Delightful Kiss Boy, here with Psalm 9 to 13, which uh, is a horror game that looks pretty sick. Uh, I'm going to read out... Oh, it stops the game if I uh, minimize the window, but whatever. I want, I want to read out the verses here, all right? What I'm assuming are the verses, because it says 9 to 13. Uh, Psalm 5 only goes up to 12, but it says that in Hebrew texts... Uh, it's numbered 5, 2 to 13. So, sure. Let's go ahead and read those. So, uh, it goes, Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins. For they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Alright, so I'm sure that'll have some relevance. Uh, how do I play the game? Uh, I probably click on the TV. TV time. Alright, uh, I don't really know much about this game other than it had a cool thumbnail, you know? So I was like, this looks sick. It was like a found footage style thing, right? Uh, so we are we are waking up in a room. Always a good way to start a horror game. Alright, so I'm taking a look around here. I'm playing in a dark room right now, so I'm, uh, you know, this is kind of relatable. This is kind of the situation I'm in. This is exactly what my house looks like. It has mud fucking floors and shit, dude. This place is uh, crazy. All right, well, let's just start exploring, man. Nice wallpaper here. I'm ready to get spooked, baby. All right. Okay, so we got uh, we got some flies in our beautiful little kitchen. We got a brewski right there. We got a we got a, a can of soda. What the fuck was that? Anyway, uh, we got um, spaghetti and meatballs, baby. The classic. The classic. Um, we got a f box of, uh, fi looks like a moving box. I'm just taking, a l I'm taking it all in, baby. Oh, he's got some olive oil, some Campbell's. We got some, uh, ooh, some pizza. This guy's a, a big Italian head, you know? He's got his meatballs and spaghetti and he's got his olive oil. He's got his pizza. This guy's name is Rigatoni. All right, uh, what do we got in here? Anything in the trash can? Am I, like, burned up or some shit? Like, I look fucked up. Did I get kidnapped and thrown into a dark room somewhere? Oh, that door closed. That's what that was. Let me see if I can open that again. It is locked. Somebody locked me in? What the hell? Ooh, coffee maker. Don't mind if I do. Come up with some coffee. He's got multiple things of olive oil here. Wait, I can open that up? That is a human head. Hmm. Okay, how you doing, bud? You gonna take a little peek at me? Okay. Well, I guess the lights went out. I was trying to take a peek at that. I was going to eat that. All right, so we got uh, we got a nice juicy head over there. That was this open before, or did that just open this up? Like I had to open that up and look at the head to progress. All right, we're taking a look around here. This is a nice little living room we got here. Closed behind me again. Ooh, that's a pretty little picture right there. What do we got here? Can I have a chat with a plant? Can I just sit down and talk to this plant right here? Probably not. Alrighty. What kind of books we got? Universe. Man and his money. Nice. Oh, God damn it. I can't see. Uh, physics for beginners. He's got like a bunch of nerd books here, man. He doesn't have the good shit. No horror stories. What the hell? Alrighty. Hello. Sheesh. Getting a little jumpy right now, man. Uh, that is a frozen wasteland. All right, what am I supposed to be seeing here? Can I just leave the room? Do I have to watch TV before progressing? Excuse me. I would like to leave the room, please. Uh, okay, well, do I have to, like, stare at the TV? I hear some people mumbling. Mumblers keep mumbling, baby. Hello. That's a really low uh, chandelier. Let's poke my eye out. Hello. 
Um, okay, well, what am I... Do I turn the TV off? What do I do, buddy? Somebody give me a sign here. Let's open a drawer. Drawer's kind of open. Okay, that's below my nose. Stare at the screen. Give me a sign, boss. What do you what do you what do you want from me? Can I just not open can I not open the door? Okay, well I'm on Poco Day confused here. Am I supposed to be getting jump scared? Well show me the jump scare, buddy. What am I what am I doing? Do I have to like go down and like like just get right up in this grill here? Climb through the TV? I'm staring. I'm searching. Is a a barking dog? Do I have to like click on the plant? Stare at the plant? What is this house plant doing on my seat? Is he a human being turned into a house plant? This some uh, the expanse shit? Not the expanse. What's that movie? It's like the people evolve into like plants and shit. What am I looking for, bro? Do I have to click on the TV? Click on the TV. Hello? Excuse me. I'm clicking on everything, right? What am I missing? What am I missing? Come on. Come on. Do I have to sit down in the chair? Hello? Okay, like the sound... Wait. The sound stopped when I went over to the chair. Am I being stupid right now? Like, is there something... Uh, oh, wait, there we go. There's a... Some giblets. Alright, so we gotta get jump scared by... Okay, so our goal is to get jump scared by the giblets, and then we can move on. Okay, so we found a human head. We found uh, some little peepers down there. Some midnight peepers. That is a spooky man who is just staring. He's side-eyeing. That's fun. Okay, so this is like... This is like... Um, uh, like a little a little scavenger hunt to find the spooky giblets. All right, I could do that. I'll sniff them out. There's a repeat of a mosque here. A repeat image. Got another TV. Are you gonna turn it on and spook me? Excuse me. All right, we got flickering lights now. Uh, what is? Who is knocking on the door? Who is it? Hello? What the fuck is that thing? Eh, I don't know. Couldn't be bothered. Looks like a human... Oh, it's a writhing mass. Well, that's fun. So, incoming jump scare, probably. Oh, so that was what I was supposed to see. And that opened the door. Okay. So, I gotta zoom in on the spooky thing. That is my goal. Okay, so... I think we're done with that. Oh, I was getting stuck on the box. Why can't I move in here? Alright, so spooky writhing mass is gone. And let's go on in here, buddy. Can I not... Oh, is that, is that a cell phone? No, it's a remote control. That I have to look at. And then take to turn the TV on. Take a peek. What is that? It's the woods outside. Alright. Is that like from the TV or is that something behind me? I'm getting noited here. Alright, so there we are being dragged through the woods. Is this us being dragged into that initial room? In the woods here? It's like a house in the woods. What is that? What's he building in there? I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing a scare here or something. I'm just hearing noises. Also, if I'm yelling right now, it's because my uh, headphones are loud as fuck. So I can't hear anything. Oh, I can turn it off. 
Okay. Filming today, making him the first to visit in preparation for the 2008 general election. Republican President Jackson. The Mitt Romney? Bro, this is so fucking loud for me. I can't even hear anything. Presentation. I mean, that was like Mitt Romney, right? Is, this, is Mitt Romney the demon in this? Okay, so that's the woods again. Is this the same video we saw initially? Or is this something else? That's the house again. I'm assuming that must be like the house we're in right now. Know what I mean? Alright, he's going up here. He's taking a peek inside. He's probably going to get jump scared. And in turn, we will get jump scared. The transitive jump scare property. He's taking a peek around. Okay, he's seeing... So is that one of the rooms that we've already been in? No, this is just like a tiny little shack, though. We're in like a full-fledged house, you know what I mean? I keep peeking over here. I think there's going to be something coming in here, you know? But I'm missing... The video, I guess. Um, so he's looking around. Is, is this guy like an a, a explorer of abandoned places? Is that what we're getting out of this? That's his backstory. Because that looked like our silhouette in the shadow there. Uh, okay. What am I supposed to be gleaning here, man? Come on. Fucking... Hey. Hello, mister. That was literally it. I had to do that, and then I could move on. Are you kidding me, dude? I had to look at the spooky man in the TV. The rest of it was unnecessary. Wasting my time. Alright, whatever. Alright, we're moving on. Let me find some more spooky things to stare at. That's what this game is. Find the spooky thing and zoom in on it. Alright, there is a bed right here. That's pretty spooky. It's an unmade bed. Disgusting and deplorable, TBH. And there is a spooky man down there. Hello. Hello, mister. Do I have to walk down and find and like talk to you? I'll walk down and talk to you, why not? Hello, buddy. What are you up to, bitch? Yeah, what's up, man? We'll talk it out. Do I have to zoom in on you now? Can I not walk in anymore? I'm not walking in. Okay. Well, I guess I can't go down there and talk to that guy yet. I gotta wait for a sec. I gotta find something to stare at first. Uh... See, we're like covered in blood, bro. All right, if I were a thing to stare at, what would I be? I thought it would be the spooky man in the end of the hallway. Can I open this up? God, this game is a bit of a slow burn, ain't it? Uh, oh, there it, oh, I see. You're like a, you're like a slug man and he's retracting into the shadows again. So if I stop looking at him, then he moves. Or something. What is going on? What is that? Can I walk down here now? Alright, well I'm gonna walk down here. I will pursue the slug into the, uh, into the blackness. But I cannot. Okay. It's like not letting me go down. What is jiggling around? Is it this door? Can I open the door now? Or is it that door? It's hard for me to tell where shit's coming from. Like, it must be this door. Excuse me? Excuse me, buddy? Oh, God. <laughs> that actually kind of spooked me a little bit. Alright. So I probably come back here, and now there's probably going to be an even closer thing now. Oh, there's a flashlight. Give me the flashlight. Okay, so now I can go in here and presumably get spooked by some sort of demon. Excuse me, is there a demon in here to spook me? 
Yep, there is. Is that a man or is that like a mannequin? I think it's a mannequin. Hello. That is a human flesh mask. Very cool. Very stylish, hon. All right, but uh, apparently that is not the uh, scariest thing we will be seeing here. We must persevere on. Are we turning the power on? Is that our objective? We're the electrician here. What am I looking? Oh, hello, Mr. Slug. Okay, well, if I stare at things long enough, they just go away. Apparently that's the moral of this. Oh, there's a big man. Excuse me, Mr. Big Man, come on back here. All right, so I gotta find the big man and stare him down now. Assumedly, he will disappear. So I'm hearing footsteps now. Assumedly, this man is gonna come kill me. Oh, Jesus. The fuck was that? Okay, well that all turned off. My flashlight is broken. Okay, so I have to go in here now. This is a spooky little game. NGL. Spooky little game. Alright, so I'm coming here. To get a beautiful presentation. Uh, is that like a projection? Or is that painted on? So I'm in some sort of office now. Taking a little peek around. What is that? Oh, this is a binder. I thought it had like little roaches on it or something. All right. Well, uh, there's a radio. Can I use that? I think we were once again playing Find the. Ooh, what was that? Wait, this one I can use. I thought we were playing Find the Giblets. Oh, do so I have to turn all the radios on? Oh, I got to turn the three radios on, and then I will solve the puzzle. What a puzzle here! Alright, I got three radios on, and now the lights go out. And now what is going on? Alright, there's an angry man. Okay. Where's the angry man? He didn't like me turning those radios on, I guess. How was I supposed to know? It said to do that on the wall. Do I have to stare at this now? I'm staring. Angry man, where are you? Make yourself known. Dude, it's so hard to tell, like, what the fuck to do. Am I supposed to, like, read the newspaper to progress? Oh, that fell. Okay. Do I just have to wait? I look at the paint can. Oh, spooky paint can. Alright, where's the jump scare, boss? Okay, ask and you shall receive. All right, so we hear a man knocking on a door. Assumedly one of these two doors. This one is like opaque. So I'm assuming it's going to be the other one that he's going to come through. He's going to come busting in, buster. All right. Well, where is he? Where's the guy? Do I have to open the... Can I open the door? I can never open doors, dude. Hello? Do I have to turn a radio on? What am I doing? Oh, there's a head. Oh, I get it. Okay. Do I just have to look directly down at the head? Spooky. Okay, so this got upturned, which is forcing me to go this way? Or am I just stuck in the corner now? Can I not? I cannot get past this chair. The chair is rooted in place, as is the shelf here. I literally cannot move. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can now move after being jump scared. All right, so we must progress onwards, ever onwards. So I gotta be doing a lot of spinning around, I guess, to progress the game. I think that is how we progress the game. There is a little Spaceman Spiff action figure here. And that is a cool little coloring book, Math. I'm pretty sure I had that textbook in, like, middle school, bro. Like, not gonna even lie. Oh, it's Slasher. Okay. We have a cute little llama. 
and we've got snowman, etc., etc. We got a little fox here. Where is the decapitated human head that I have to stare at to progress the game? Show me the body. <laughs> um, now if I were a decapitated human head, where would I be? Probably in a box, because that so far it's been in a container every single time here. Is it under the table here? Is it in a textbook? I'm hearing noises. Oh, there we go. Okay, there is a spooky man probably in here. So I have to look in here and they get jump scared. Oh, he's going to jump scare me. Yep. All right, I got to go in here now. All right, so we were in a... It's probably like skin of a rink, dude. Why is, why is all that schmutz all over the ground? Lots of schmutz in here. Um, if I were... Something to stare at. Like, is it, is it, are the triggers timing based or do I actually have to like do something? I can't even tell. I can't tell what I'm doing to progress the game. There's a dog. Is there a man in here now that I'm not seeing? Because I mean, oh, there we go. That is a moving be teddy bear. Hello. How you doing, bud? What are you up to? Okay, his head fell off. Very cool. Do I take a little peek? Oh, it's a key. Why is there just a generic-ass key in here? Alright, so we got a key to something. Assuming is it like this door. Dude, what is up with like haunted houses and having locked doors within your own home? You know what I mean? It's like they just like hide keys around. It's like, oh, we're gonna make this an amuse. Okay, so I can go in here now probably. Can I? What is the key for? Is it for like a diary? Can I look out the window? We are like in the ethereal plane right now. The astral plane. Very cool, very cool, babe. Dude, what the fuck am I supposed to do, man? Alright, so we got a key to... Is there like a chest? Is there a loot get scenario? Oh, there we go. Is that locked? Are you locked? Is there a lock on here? There is a lock. Okay. We open you up. And there is a human... No, is that a, it's not a human head. I thought it was going to be another human head. No, it was just a, a stuffed animal. Now this room is turned red. Red means scary, as we all know. Uh, what could be... There's a potted plant again. I think that's the same potted plant that I saw earlier. Alright, so we are in the spooky room. What am I supposed to be seeing here, boss? What are you showing me? All right, we are in the red room. This game is like a spot the difference game, man. Excuse me, mister. Do I have to go in here? I want to go in there so bad. Am I supposed to stare at the red plant? Am I supposed to stare at the red window? Oh, I better I have to like stare up here. The source of the red light? No. Bro. Okay, I hear sound effects. So, assumedly, the scares are coming to save us. So, we are not trapped in this purgatory anymore. What the fuck, dude? Am I... I'm so confused. We picked up a stuffed animal, right? There's nothing else to it? Excuse me? Am I supposed to be like. This game is confusing me. I'm sorry. I'm probably annoying the shit out of you all, but I just don't... I'm so... Oh, here we... What? Oh, I put him down. Oh, we're having tea time. How was I supposed to fucking know that, dude? Okay. Oh, I can pick him up again and put him down in different positions here? Is that doing anything? Wait, is... Okay, this is a puzzle. Okay. So... Do I have to, like, get all of the stuffed animals and put them down for tea time? I do! Oh my god. Well, that's... stupid. How the, how the fuck was I supposed to know that? Alright. Anyway, we're getting the fox here. And uh, we, need to, we need to have a little tea party with our little furry friends. Even though they're facing the wrong direction. Alright, uh, there's a llama. Was there, like, another stuffed animal in here? 
Oh, yeah, there's the goose. The goose is loose. All right, so we have to put down the final contestant for the tea party. He's watching me. Okay, that's fine, dude. Come out. I just want to move on, buddy. I've been stuck in this room for like 10 minutes, bro. He's watching me through the door, through that door, from under the bed. Where are you at, buddy? Excuse me. Do I have to not look at the tea? Do I have to let you guys have your tea party in peace? Buddy. So there's a knock on the door. Okay, so assumedly I can go through the door now, maybe. Hello? Knock on the door. Do I have to go to this door now? Yeah, I do. Okay, that shit disappeared. Hello? What, what am I looking at here? I can't see shit, bro. Oh, there, okay, this one's red now. Okay, so follow the red. We are learning the rules of the game. So now I gotta draw a picture, assumedly. What am I doing here? Excuse me. Boss. What's the objective here? Brother. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Come on, just sh tell me what to do. Give me a sign. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the hell? I didn't see this shit. Okay, so set up the tea party and then number th number three. Do I have to do it like it's in the photo? What? I have to get them in a range of the right order, maybe. Okay, I didn't see this earlier. My bad. My bad game. Okay, so... That's the goose on the left. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll try that out. Guess I gotta get him in the right spot or something. That's fine. I can do that. All right, so we pick up the goose. Pick you up. Goose there. Then fucking you there. No, no, the cat needs to go there. There we go. That not that, that's what the picture had, right? Was, or the fox goes there. Or was it this one and this one? I mean, the llama definitely goes there, right? The fuck am I doing here? <laughs> hey, okay, you got me. <laughs> so apparently that's our reward, is we get jump scared. And now we are in a, um, a, a toy room. All right, well. Very cool. There is a decap. There is a disembodied arm in the bed now. Did I do it? Did I do it wrong? Is that why I got jump scared? Or is that? I think that's correct. All right. There is a, a dismembered corpse here. So do I have to do this for all of the body parts? Reassemble the man. All right. So we got rid of the arm. There is another arm right there. It's a very cryptic game. All right, there's the giblets. We're reassembling the man. We are putting we are putting him back together through the power of manifestation and visualization. All right. What what am I what am I doing? All right. That's those are most of the giblets, I would assume. At least the main ones. Oh, here we go. Okay. Hello. How you doing, boss? Do I stare at you? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Okay. Kind of just walked at me. Oh, do we get to move on? Thank God. Jesus Christ. We were in that room for ages, brother. All right, we are now in the moth room. Moths are moths disturb me. They have like weird intelligence. Like they they just look go to the light. That's some creepy behavior right there. What am I clicking on? There's like a little clicky button. Just the thank you for playing screen. We're like a moth to the flame. Okay, now that, that lit up. Now I gotta take a shit finally. That was what this was all about. Oh, I, oh no, I thought, it was, thought I actually was just going to take a shit. Okay, so we gotta repair the mirror. Oh, to look at ourselves. Because we are the true monster. The true monster. All right, excuse me. Um, I need to find more mirror shards. If I were a mirror shard, where would I be? 
That's a mirror shard right there. Look at that. Very cool, babe. Alrighty, so I put this up here. And then I... Uh, somebody was trying to wash their mirror. Didn't really work out for them in the end. TBHNGL. And we take, a pe we take a look at ourselves. Hello, that's us. We are covered in dark runes and shit. Now we, we cease to exist. Very, very cool. All right. Was that the whole... That was it. All right. I don't know what the fuck that meant. That was pretty good, though. I had a good time. I mean, uh, let me see. I'm, I'm going to try to interpret what the fuck happened there. So we wake up in a room. Feeling like... Shit. Um, okay. So then we walk into another room. We have to stare at a human head in a pot. We go into the next room. We got to stare at some giblets on the floor. What, okay, what the fuck was the baby thing? And how? Do, what is what is Psalm nine to thirteen have to do with anything? Uh, not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that shit meant. But, uh, I mean, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I had a few, couple of little spooky scares that kind of got me a little bit. It got, it got my uh, blood pumping, you know, as I was uh, progressing through the game. I had a, uh, I had a good time with it. I, I don't really know if there was some deeper meaning to that, but uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. Um, I will not be refunding my purchase. I will give the dev $4 because that was pretty well made. That was pretty well made. Spooky creature thing that jump scared you, gets you, gets your heart pumping. I I could not, for the life of me, tell you what my, what the takeaway from this was supposed to be. It might have just been more of a vibe kind of thing. But it's like the the fact that it has like Bible verses like specifically pointed out makes me think that there's some kind of deeper meaning to this. You know what I mean? Like we're. I don't fucking know. I'm looking at these passages. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. But uh, I had a good time with this shit. Love playing some indie horror games. It's a good time. Um, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm going to tune out. Bye-bye.